All right, guys, this is Austin from JBI. I've got Toby from uh, Box Components, and we're going to be going over some brand relative stuff. Um, Toby, where did uh, Box get started? Uh, it's a long story. I had a company uh, that was doing really well back in the uh, I don't know, late uh, 2000s. And um, anyway, um, sold the company and mm -hmm. started to create another company. And we started Box about eight years ago. Okay. Started with uh, BMX Racing as our, as our primary product line. And about four years ago, we started diving into uh, the drivetrain market for mountain bikes. Right. So you started with BMX and now you're jumping over to, um, what's the new drivetrain you guys have going? Uh, we have uh, launching 2020 is the Prime 9. Which Prime is nine. our nine-speed drivetrain. Nine-speed drivetrain, and that comes in four iterations. Is that correct? Right. Uh, we have tiers: box one tiers. through four across the whole line. So it's different price point. Box one being the highest, um, down to box five, six down the road. Right. So for this this project, it's box one through four. Okay. Yeah. So um, on the the shifter, is that a, a drop down shifter? Can you shift multiple times going up and down the cassette? Oh, uh, good question. Because um, our e bikes, you only shift one. Right. 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 Uh, so we torque. have two yeah. two uh, uh, shift um, pods. Right. Okay. So one is a multi shifter, one is a single shifter. Okay. Right. Um, and then what kind of range are we looking at for the cassette? So the cassettes um, anywhere from eleven to forty two to eleven to fifty right. in between. So. So it seems um, some people may think that box is going backwards by going to nine speed. You know, uh, you got big guys like SRAM and Shimano going 11, 12 speed wireless. Right. What was the reason for going nine? Uh, less is more, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, durability, reliability, yeah. simplicity, easy to work on. Um, no IP issues to have, yeah, right? Course, things like course, that. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're a small company. We couldn't really chase, you know, 12, 13, 14, whatever's coming down the pipe. And uh, we found that with a lot of research that the nine speed uh, product, as long as it had a modern range, people were gonna be happy with. And and so far the people that have it and enjoyed it and, and have seen it actually feel that we're going in the right direction. So. Right, okay. And then for the nine speed cassette, it comes in 1142. What, what kind of range are we looking at? Um, so uh, um, depends on the tier. Okay. Right, so 11.42 for a box four, okay. up to 11.50 for a box one. Right, and it seems like you get plenty of range of an 11, was it 52? Uh, 50. 50, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think after 50, I mean, on an e-bike, we don't really need the 50. There's yeah. a couple times you might get on a certain climb, you want the 50, it's kind of your bailout gear, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, actually our more popular gear is the 11.46, so we do offer that too. Okay, nice, and um, that's only for mountain bike, correct? No drop bar shifters? Right, bar shift only yet? MTB, yes. Okay, yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah. And um, you guys also have some pretty sweet hubs as well. Right, we um, purchased Stealth Hubs uh, about two years ago. Okay. It was a, a California-based company with instant engagement, silent coasting, right? right? Which is, there's only another brand out there that do that, that does that. And um, and we purchased it two years ago and we took that product line from California and moved it to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And basically we think made the product a little bit better and brought the price point down about a third. You know, that's interesting whenever you talk about zero engagement, because you got a lot of guys out there saying, oh, we have six degrees or we right. have 12 degrees, right. but you guys are instant. It's instant, yeah, that's and if you nice. felt the hub, it's absolutely instant. Yeah. Right. So there are hub manufacturers out there that um, uh, are, have a quiet free hub whenever they're free spinning. Right. Do you guys have a, like that ratcheting sound, or is it pretty? No, quiet? there's absolutely zero noise. Nice. So okay. um, because of the system, there's act where there's no there's no drag in it. So when the poles flip over or the needle bearings flip over, it's instant quiet. So it sounds super efficient. It is. It is. Yeah. So uh, one question some people may have is if for whatever reason there's a problem with a drivetrain or uh, someone um, someone eats it on a mountain bike ride and they need to replace an item, how do you guys handle warranty? Um, actually, it's a good question because we're the only guys who offer lifetime warranty. So if you okay. break our product, we give you another one for free, no questions asked. All right. Well, yeah. that's definitely a rare thing happening yeah. in the right. industry. So yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a, we stuck our necks out a little bit, but it's a very small percentage of our sales. So it, right. we feel feel that's good for the brand and good for the customer to to have that comfort right okay so uh, I hear you used to be a pro racer is that true yeah yeah a long time ago <laughs> long you can tell I'm kind of older but uh <laughs> yeah in the 80s I rode BMX in the 90s I rode downhill mountain biking so okay. 24 years as a professional bicycle rider were, with, were you on any specific teams uh, yeah I started off um, my first big sponsor was Raleigh bicycles oh, when yeah, they came into that. BMX and then they, they tried to get in the sport for a while and they couldn't build the product properly and I learned about development mm -hmm. that's why I'm in this business I learned a lot about development throughout my career and then I went on to ride for uh, Iron Horse bicycles giant okay. bicycles things like that later in my career yeah so it sounds like a lot of box components um, engineering is, is, is race inspired yeah I think that what we're trying to build is, is just the experience I've had on a bike when it comes to a handle grip or saddle or whatever we develop I think I've, I've hauled on a bike so much in my life yeah. that I think the fuel is, is something I, I bring to the table. So, yeah. 
So yeah. these, these products are made and designed for people who I'm sure not only race, but are also recreational riders. Yeah, I mean, for sure. If enthusiasts, for sure. I right. mean, the thing that we do is if you're into riding your bike, uh, we think our products fit you really well. Yeah. Right. So um, the box one, maybe the two is more specific for racers and box three can uh, maybe yeah, find more recreational riders. That's a than... good point. We call it performance, performance value. I mean, kind of go down the list on, yeah. on that, but definitely the box one was for the guys who are really into it. Yeah. So, so you guys are really trickling uh, the race um, level drivetrain even down into the recreational rider so they can still get a piece of it but maybe a million I think the feel is the right? same I think that you know if you walk into a shop or something you see the brake levers on the bike not sitting properly <laughs> and it was always a pet peeve of mine I mean if you put the brake levers right even the guys that begin with the bike's more comfortable right so kind of that theory is kind of what we're thinking as yeah. long as we bring that experience to the product line and educate the people on how that mm -hmm. would work we think you get a better feel and enjoyable ride out of that so okay so um, you know the big boys out there SRAM Shimano it's all OEM spec any, right. any bike shop you walk into is gonna have SRAM mm -hmm. and, and Shimano are you guys working on OEM stuff? Yeah, for 2021 model year, which comes up in the next three months, we actually have a lot of bikes that are, are going to be spawny spec. Took a lot of years to get to that point. Oh, but I'm sure. We I'm finally sure. got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got your, your foot in yeah. the door. Okay. Right. And you can't talk about any of those sponsors. I don't want. Right? I don't want to talk about the brands right yeah. now. Until the bikes hit the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it hush hush for yeah. now. Then. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, where can we find you guys? You guys got a website? Uh, Boxcomponents.com is well who we are. Yeah, and it okay. shows our mountain bike and our BMX divisions there so sweet uh well thanks for stopping by jbi toby um we appreciate box coming in and giving us some info on the on the brand uh, if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and uh we'll catch you next time thanks awesome yeah bye